Hi, everyone. Um, it looks like we only have a couple people, but welcome. Um, I'm Abby, and this is Justin, and we're really excited to speak with you today to show you our new um, anatomy and physiology course. Hi, Alan. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? We can, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Awesome. So um, I'll start by just showing you a little bit about how the website works, and then Justin will get into a bit more about um, the anatomy and physiology course specifically. So I'm just going to share my screen. Okay, so, um, so the website was originally made for physics, so positive physics, but it's now positive chemistry, positive STEM, um, any of those websites take you to the same place. Um, and once you get to this website, you'll click create an account, um, you'll click teacher, and then you can either try signing in with Google, that's a new thing we've, we're just testing out at the moment, or you can sign up manually. Um, once you're logged in, um, you will see this button that says dashboard at the top. That's the button you're gonna click to kind of see the student view of the site. So this is what students would see. Um, and you can select which course you want to use and which unit. Um, so I'm just gonna show you really briefly how it works. So we have all these skills on the left-hand side and you click this blue button that says lessons and questions to get into one of those skills. So I'll just show you a really simple example. Um, we always have a lesson at the beginning of each skill. Most of these have a video where, um, where it makes sense to have a video. Um, and for each question, uh, sometimes they're drop down boxes, sometimes you enter a number, and if you get the angle, uh, sorry, if you get the question incorrect, you'll get this little red X, um, but you can still try again. So you can try again as many times as you like. So Justin, what's the answer to this one? Was it decreasing the angle of a joint? That would be um, flexion. Let's give that a go. Awesome. So we got it right. Um, so if you have a look in the top right corner, here you can see completion and accuracy. So it tracks the student's completion, meaning did they get the question right eventually? And it also tracks accuracy. So if you get the question right the first time, you get the accuracy points, um, but you don't get them the accuracy points if you didn't get it right the first time. So that's the basic functionality of the website. Um, and your students can do the questions. You can assign them using these buttons over here where it says unlocked. So unlocked means students can access it. Um, you can add due dates. Um, you can remove things you don't want students to see. You can make things worth bonus points. Um, and then finally, I'll just show you one more thing, which is in the teacher tab, you can see the student scores. So um, right now there's no scores in here because we haven't had students try this yet. Um, but you can see for each skill, um, it will show you, right now it's showing completion scores, but I can ch choose here to change and see the accuracy scores of the students. Um, and it will show you uh, by each skill. Um, and if you wanted to, you can even go in using this button and you can see on like an individual skill, you can go and see exactly what they got on each question as well. And it'll color code those as well, I believe. If you, over a certain percentage, they'll be green, a certain percentage yellow, and so forth. Exactly, yeah. So it's really easy to just glance and get an idea of how each student is doing. Um, so that's a little overview of the mechanics of the site. Um, Justin, do you want to take over from here? Sure, yeah. Um, we can kind of just go through a little bit of the of what the, the curriculum covers so far, you know, that we've created. So we just started with the muscular system um, for this year. Um, and trying to just, we wanted to pick a unit um, that kind of everybody teaches an anatomy physiology course um, and then build it out um, to just to test and see like, is there is there interest and, and and what do the questions look like and all that sort of a thing. So if you go to, maybe go to the applying movement terms um, and click on there. So all of these are aligned with the videos that I have up on my YouTube channel already. So this, the muscular system mainly covers three videos, which is the muscles and movement and then levels of organization that gets into like myofibrils, myofilaments, fascicles, all that sort of thing, um, as well as the sliding filament model. Um, and so this first one um, is all about uh, muscles and movement. And so we get kind of questions like this where it's um, a student is doing some sort of a movement 
Um, most of them are going to have a picture kind of showing that movement happening as well. And then they're identifying that movement um, from there. So in this case, they raise their arm. That would be ab abduction. Um, the first one there. Um, yeah. And so you'll see that they get it correct. Um, and if students don't get it correct, you know, they'll see that um, as well. Um, are there other questions in this one that are different? Um, yeah, it's mostly the same kind of a thing. Or like this one here, a student attempts to lift a heavy metal bar and fails to make it move. And so that would be an isometric contraction. So these are all like, you know, these are all things that come up in the video. So if a student is ever like, I don't really know how to do this, um, they can go back to the lesson um, and then and then rewatch that part portion of the video um, that goes with it. Now, the, the different sections, the questions are going to look a little bit different. So maybe we can go to like a later section where there's more, there's like multiple questions per, or yeah, multiple drop down boxes per question. Let's go with the, uh, oh wait, no, I'm sorry. Give me a sec. Let's go to muscles practice. So here would be kind of uh, where it gets a little bit more comprehensive. The other ones where it's, it was just kind of like starting with the basics, like, like identify what movement is happening here. Um, and this is what it kind of ultimately builds to where they're now they're having to answer a bunch of different questions related to a particular a particular muscle. So this one is which later labels the biceps brachii. And so that would be um, F. So they can identify that. They can also check their answers as they go, right? So Abby just uh, clicked that. Did you, did you hit enter there? To, like, yeah, check. I hit enter or you can click check answers at the bottom. So it'll tell you, you can, if you want, just fill everything out and then click check answers at the end and it'll just give you feedback on all of them at once. But you can also do it piece by piece like this. And then you get into, okay, what body part moves when you contract the biceps brachii? And that's going to be the, um, that would be the elbow joint, I believe. And then what type of movement does the body have when you can, does the body part have? That's going to be flexion. I'm going to get one of these wrong. If I do, it's uh, it's uh, because I just wanted to show you how it works if it gets it wrong. <laughs> I might put myself right. on the spot here, you know. Um, right. The following was for the origins and insertions for, you know, and all of this right now covers kind of the basically the what I taught in my own anatomy, high school anatomy and physiology classes. And so, you know, in the future, if we decide to build this out in like a full A&P course, um, we'd be getting feedback from teachers about like, what are the topics that you cover? What to what depth do you cover them? So this is an example of one where it says, which of the following bones could be the origin of the biceps brachii? So in this case, it is the scapula, I believe. Um, but in my own class, I didn't have them memorize the origins and insertions of each bone, but I wanted them to understand kind of the concept of it. So for that drop down, we, you know, scapula is on there, but we wouldn't put scapula and humerus because if you didn't, if you didn't have it memorized, but you just knew what it did, it would be hard to determine like, okay, is it originating on the scapula or the humerus? Both of those could produce that, that flexion movement. So um, for that, they don't have to have them memorized, but it's just, can they, can they understand the concept of it and what bone could be the, could be that. And some of this, like, like in this one, it, you see the biceps break eyes in blue. Abby, is that, is that randomized where that like the, the question could be a different muscle and they're answering the same things for it? Sometimes. Or Yes, blue sometimes is randomized or it's a randomized order of questions. So kids will see them in a different order. Yeah. Okay, this one was radius. Radius. Um, triceps brachii, the antagonist pair. And then the label that identifies that one, where's the triceps P, the triceps brachii. So obviously that like, there's a lot of different kind of kind of concepts and skills that are built into that one question, but all of the sections leading up to that have kind of tested these different things individually. And now here are the point where it's like, now a student's got to put them all together. Um, and I really like these questions in particular, um, these like sets like this, because then it's, they're not just doing the the same thing over and over again. They're having to like really think about each question because it's asking them something different from question to question. But then when they go to question two, now they're getting some repetition because they're going to do the same thing but with a different muscle. Now they're doing it with the triceps brachii or, and this would be an example of one where the, the, I think the questions are in a random order too. So they're not going to get necessarily biceps and triceps like number two there, but maybe they're getting latissimus dorsi in the next one. Um, yeah. And so forth. Gotcha. That's cool. I like, uh, yeah, I like this a little bit of physiology and anatomy. I mean, in reality, if you're, or you're, you know, you're trying to, you got to know what it does how it does what it does so it's it's got yeah i like it yeah um 
And maybe we could show the other thing I was thinking would be good to show is going down to maybe the um, sliding filament model and seeing like some of the explanation questions and as well as identifying. So, so in this one, this goes along with the sliding filament model. And so it's going to be the same diagrams in this case that I've got in my videos. Um, uh, they're slightly altered. It's got, you know, it's got the numbers and stuff on there without the, some of the labels and stuff. Um, so in this one, it'll give a, a description. It says calcium is released by the, by the SR and binds with troponin, causing tropomyosin to move and reveal cross bridge binding sites. What part of the diagram represents this step in the process? Um, and so this is going to be uh, something that binds with troponin, causing troponin to move and reveal cross bridge. That's happening in um, one, right? I think it's one. Yeah, let's check. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, which of the following happens directly after this step. All right. And so then from there, the drop down menu is going to be A, B, C, D, or E. And they've got to read through those different different explanations. Um, so they're not just uh, something per se, but they got to like, you know, and so this this question becomes a lot more challenging because now it's, they got to read through all of these and figure out like, what is the actual, what's actually happening in, in step two there, um, which is it. forming a cross bridge, I believe. Um so I think that's D in that one. And one thing, we do have something randomized in here. So for like this question, for example, it will give them a description of a step. And then it might ask them here what happened directly before or what happened directly after. So um, students will have like slightly different questions there. And then we also have another type of question here where it um, takes all the steps and randomizes the order. And then the students have to put them into order. So yeah, so, um, you know, we really tried to get into, you know, one of the challenges that I was, I was thinking about taking this, as we were, as we were talking about, like taking this and, and using it for anatomy and physiology, whereas in physics and chemistry, you've got a lot of questions where it's like, they're doing a calculation, they're, you know, they're solving for forces or solving for concentrations in chemistry, that sort of a thing. And we don't have that as much in A&P. And so we had to get a little bit creative with like, how do we ask these questions in a way um, that really makes students think and not not only just like labeling stuff on a diagram. Well, that's built in because students have to learn, you know, the names of things and locations of things and different and, and all that. Um, but we also wanted to kind of build in some conceptual stuff too um, that would test them of their understanding um, of different processes and how it works and all that sort of a thing. So, yeah. Was there that's awesome. Yeah, it's kind of... Well, I was just going to say it's a little, it's tricky to find that uh, type of feedback um, with, with A and P I've found. I mean, I use uh, Pearson um, and we're getting ready to make the choice to renew our textbook. And I was going to say no. And the only reason that really to, that we want to keep it would be because it does have mastering a and p you might be familiar with that mm -hmm. you know and uh, which is is well done uh in, sure. in some ways i mean it's uh i mean it's kind of clunky in other ways too but i mean obviously the content is i think the content's good and the, and the mm -hmm. diagrams look nice and all that but it's fairly yeah i don't really notice or maybe i never explored it enough i don't know that it had sort of what you're offering here in the same way i feel like it was i, I don't know i i this i like the way this is laid out yeah yeah i i found that and this is not and i'm not as familiar with mastering amp specifically i'm familiar with it but not i i didn't, haven't used it um but it, the textbook that i always had in anatomy and physiology it would have questions at the end but they're always kind of like open-ended kind of questions that students would answer or it would be here's one question on this idea. Like they wouldn't get, they wouldn't get like multiple kind of at bats or multiple opportunities for different yeah. concepts um, as much. And so I felt, I just felt like that was, that was always hard to use. Um, and, and the other thing nice about this thing is, you know, if a teacher already, uh, you know, it, also textbooks have to cover like every single potential thing that a teacher might want to teach like they, they try to be very 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 comprehensive um and we're trying right. to be thorough comprehensive to here too but it's also like um also you know I, when i created this i created or sorry when i when i created the videos right i was creating them as a 
high school anatomy and physiology teacher making decisions about what do I want my students to really learn? What are the most important things um, right. versus like, here's every single thing that I could possibly teach about this. Let me include it in case somebody, you know, so it's also, this isn't going to cover every single thing in the muscular system that any teacher um, is going to have, but it's going to be like, here's the foundations of, of the main things and stuff. And, and I think for, um, hopefully veteran teachers can, can, can get some value out of it. And then hopefully newer teachers can be like, okay, use this as a guide for like, what do I, what do I teach and what do I cover and how do I assess it and different things like that. Gotcha. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because I, I hate to lose. That's the one thing I didn't want to lose was, you know, versus, I mean, I haven't done a worksheet in a million years, but um, I have done, you know, use some like, like I said, an online piece like this, just to get some feedback and, and to have them to have some uh, repetition. But right, it, right. it's such a big, again, you know, well, like you said, there's so many topics. And so and it was, it was kind of hard to tailor it down. I was actually doing. Right. And yeah, so um, this just seems more manageable up front, but it's, it's the same concept. Right. But right. Uh, just a little more intimate, a little more, direct the dial to obviously the, your videos sure. so i've seen a few i'm actually assigning one for the first time tomorrow to okay class and be the respiratory uh system and i'm gonna nice. give them the diagram to to follow and then uh or to fill in as they watch and, and sure. some guided notes or whatever so so i'll start just just playing around with different ideas looking for something new and i, I think it, it, there's obviously room in this space for any it's so this is cool. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Hopefully, hopefully the assigning of the video goes well and and all of that. So um awesome. Oh yeah, yeah no, I think it's gonna be great. And we're just trying to figure out what do we do next year? Like, you know, keep some of that old, you know, whatever. You're just trying to you're drawing from a, a lots of different areas is obviously sure. kind of the goal. And and so um I like that you're adding uh some background pieces here or you know it's, it kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, crash course of course you know and i don't think they have anything on the back end like this i, mean, I think they have some worksheets and stuff. right not that i, I know yeah, yeah yeah i don't believe they have so this is a real i mean a nice bonus for this to go along with some videos uh mm. yeah it's excellent that's yeah. off to a great start i like it yeah appreciate it Happy, maybe we can transition into just kind of like plans for the future a little bit um, yeah. where, where we might go for here. Um, obviously, this this unit that we've created here is is, you know, is free. Um, we have, uh, you know, we're, right now we're kind of testing this out to see, like, is there is there interest? Are people interested in using it? Um, and then just getting feedback on the on the, the unit itself and like what questions work well and, and, you know, just getting as much feedback as we can. So. Um, so Alan or, or anybody, anybody that's watching the recording of this, um, please, uh, reach out to us and let us know, like what's working well, what suggestions you have, is there, are there topics within this that, that would be helpful to cover all of that different stuff, um, is feedback that we're, that we're looking for here. Um, and then potentially in the future, um, we're interested in, in, in building this out into a full course that would start from kind of an intro unit, um, and going throughout all the different, all the different systems, um, so then teachers can use that throughout the year. Um, whether that's, whether that's a teacher using it, like as the main kind of background of their or backbone of their curriculum, or if they're using it as a supplemental thing where they're assigning, um, you know, assigning it just kind of piecemeal here and there, whenever, whenever it's relevant and comes up. Um, but I've used this, I've used the, you know, the physics version before when I taught physics, I use the chemistry version now from AP chemistry class. Um, and so the platform itself, um, I think is great. I think I think there's there's other companies that have other platforms like this, but this one, just like the ease of use, is really nice because there's not, I don't know, there's something about the simplicity of it a little bit, versus being versus from like bigger companies where there's just, I don't know, there's just more 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 things that you got to think about and navigate. This is pretty simple. Whenever I assign these, I just tell students go to this unit, do this section. And then it's super easy to look at their scores and, and, and uh, give, you know, um, and follow up with them with feedback on it. So, yeah, looking into potentially building this out um, in the future to a full course. Um, cool. And if we do that, Abby, we'd probably we probably would keep that free for the next year as we're building it out. Probably yeah. 
you know, and then, but also even positive, you know, the, the site also has, um, the, 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 the pricing is reasonable. There's also like a pay what you can option for teachers if like their school can't afford it sort of a thing. Um, and so the folks at positive physics, Abby and Jack, um, they're, they're really trying to make this a useful resource for teachers. Um, and, uh, and it's a platform that, like I said, I believe in, I've used as a consumer, um, on the platform for my, uh, for my own classes as I've taught them. So, um, well, great. That's what you're looking for is vetted material, you know? So I saw that you did you know, obviously made the videos that you made and I watched several of those and I like those and you're trying mm -hmm. to, you know, get recommendations from people that know what they're talking about, you know, yeah. it's like fellow, you know, fellow, fellow teachers, veteran teachers. Right. So that's, that's nice because mm -hmm. the internet is vast filled with so many things. It's hard <laughs> to know where to start. For so sure. I like, yeah, I like the look at this uh, look of it as well. I do think it looks, it does seem very clean. Um, is that, so I see level one, level two, level three, is there multiple, uh, I like depth of questions or, or L1, L2, L3. I don't know if that stands for level or not, but on the so right that hand side. That would be where your like different sections of students are. So you could oh, okay. like, if you had like a lower level class and a higher level class, you could choose to like not have them do like these last four skills or something, or you mm. can have a bonus for some students, but make them required for others. So some people use that yeah. for their sections or like if you have, you know, in one class, if you have some students who have like specialized learning plans who need different due dates or something like that, you could put them in a different section and um, do it that way. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we have honors in regular in the same class. So that's great. Nice. I can totally help with that. Okay. All right, dig it. So this is uh, this is available now. I'm, obviously, it would, would, be, would be for next year since we're done with it, but it would be, it's up and running and can be explored. Yes, exactly. And we'll send uh, we'll send an email afterwards with a link to the website where you can, if you want to make an account and browse and have a look at it yourself or use it with your students. Um, and yeah, as Justin mentioned, that'll be totally free until we've built out like a full course. So for the foreseeable future, that'll be totally free. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much. This is awesome. I'm glad uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, Yeah. Anyway, I won't take up too much time because I know you, it's a video. I don't want to carry on about, or it's yeah, a recording sure. for other people to watch. I don't want. To right, right. We appreciate you being here, so we had somebody to talk to. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Uh, of course, <laughs> I'm sure the word word will get out. Word will get out. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Thanks so much, Alan. Also, Alan, yeah, are thank you, you are you a supporter on Patreon? I am now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I, I, I saw your name pop up in the waiting room and I was like, I just saw that on the, on the Patreon dashboard. So appreciate, appreciate yeah, this. It was, yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's all just kind of happened at once. I, you know, you kind of get off the treadmill for a second and you're kind of looking around going like, okay, what, what am I going to do next year? And so then I started looking around and uh, so anyways, struck on that. It looks like you were, you know, you guys are just now really getting this role and I'm like, okay, well, perfect. It's a good time to, yeah. to hop in. So yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, hey, good luck with the rest of the year for you. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. You too. Okay. Sounds good.